Hey guys, we're back with another episode of Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalkers 2014. I'm Rob. Are you not Mario? <laughs> hey, it's me, Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalkers 2014. I don't know how many accents you just did, but there were probably <laughs> at least six of them in there if you really pick it all apart. I do try. I do try. Uh, you got the vocal range, you got the accents. <laughs> you're the double threat, I guess. I know I know voices, you know. You do know say? voices. Man, I love that I say things sometimes and then they just become memes for some reason. It's so <laughs> strange. Is, that is a great movie title. Really this great. summer, Rob is the double threat. <laughs> okay, I, th I thought you were going to say, this summer, Rob knows voices. <laughs> I mean, there you go. You just demonstrated it again. I do know voices, though, in the summer. Uh, mostly in the summer. I in mean, a similar way that I know them in the rest of the year as well. Not so much though when you're on yeah. the phone a friend in the. That's true. I don't do the voices in the in the phone a friend. It's a good point. Um, anyway, magic. I should really guess you hit the ready button. You both I shit the ready. ready. Yeah, I shit. Ready? I shit all over that ready button. You're gonna I like I'm... pick a deck or oh whatever. I don't... Nah, I'm randoming. Sorry. I if, if I get masks of Demir again, I'm going to stab a hooker. A hooker will die. And I won't be happy about it, but it'll happen. She'll be oh, dead. What the hell's this deck? Oh. I, uh, I have some unfinished. Uh, I have business. a deck that I don't think I've had in a long time, or I don't remember what it is. Yeah, actually, me too. All right. So, Interesting. Those will be fun, then. Much as all have random the exact same <laughs> deck, that would be so funny. And I think Austin's just playing unfinished business. He's obsessed with I, that deck. I have unfinished really want that deck to work, huh? I feel like I should just play you that one Mean Girls meme where you stop trying to make uh, unfinished work. business a thing. Yeah, it's not a thing. Oh, you got yeah, the like... the red pyro deck or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's the first time I've had that in a bajillion. Every time I random, I keep hoping I get that because it'll just be something different, but it never happens. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this deck anyway, actually. Yeah, it's not that good, but I kind of hope for it anyway. It's pretty whack. It has the wipes in it. It does. It wipes your butt for money. Like Charmin. Ew. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Did you do the Sign of Darkness thing again? Oh, Demon of Death oh. Gate. Well, that's coming out next turn, by the way, Nick. No, it isn't. So. Wait, what is it? Do I have to worry or what? He has the demons at Death's Gate. He's got the that thing that it's going to summon onto the field. Uh -huh. I forget what that does. What, what do I do? It, uh, I don't no. think it's anything. Unless you can exile things that are in the graveyard, which I'm pretty certain your deck does not have the capacity to do so, uh, we're screwed. <laughs> Essentially. Okay. No. So we'll just no. be screwed then, and maybe this episode will be really short. <laughs> it could be. It could be extremely short. Would you like an egg in this trying time? I would love an egg in this trying time. How do you like your eggs? Do you prefer them hard boiled? You hard boiled egg for me. You know, I, I will tell you something. I didn't like eggs for a long period of time in my life. Yeah. Most of my life, honestly. I tell didn't me like about eggs. the day when that all changed for you. It all changed when I discovered that scrambled eggs are actually not bad. You know why I think is because when I was a kid, my dad would give me scrambled eggs and then he'd like cover them in ketchup. And that was fucking disgusting. I think that is so gross What's to put his ketchup problem, on What's really? Eggs. Like, why would he do that? Know. Um, by the way, yeah, is, uh, that's the, that is like the stupidest combo, by the way, that you can get out that card. Wait, why yeah. does he have that? That's dumb. It's because of Exhum. It takes only fucking two mana. And he's but got like, a 9-9 on the field. I don't want him to have a 9-9. Yeah, yeah, it's got flying and trample too, so. Why can't you know? I just get rid of it, though? Uh, no, you can't. I, oh. Oh, that's, yeah, you can't actually. That card doesn't work. <laughs> Yeah, Bramble Crush won't do it. Cannot be targeted. At least we know that you have Bra Bramble Crush. Why can't it be targeted? So that's good Bramble to know. Because Bramble Crush uh, reads card only destroys lands, I think. Yeah, it, well, I think it says like non. Non. non oh, non creature. Per I thought that said uh, yeah. so, non green or something. I didn't even read that very well. <laughs> okay, well, that's my but turn. But you revealed your own hand, Nick. I think you're going to have to kill yourself now. Uh, what? Yeah, you did. <laughs> destroy a land now. Yeah, <laughs> don't do that. Is it? It's better to keep the Bramble Crush. It's actually a pretty good card. It's Just nice. Yeah. Well, it's non-creature, so that means it could be an artifact or an enchantment as well, right? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It can do just that. No, it can't. You're a liar. Uh. -uh. I think you lie. 
You they can tell die. funny lives and games. I game wish I was lives. smart enough to play Magic in such a way that revealing that Bramble Crush was actually my strategy. <laughs> Next level strats. I, I was I just was watching actually on Twitch. They had the a live Magic the Gathering tournament, and I was uh, I was like, uh oh, he revealed your hand. Man. Revealed Whatever, hand, just Nick. kill me, man. I don't care. <laughs> just build up. Take it in. I don't even care anymore. All right, he's yeah, got the central. Great, I wasn't gonna have enough mana for that for a long time anyway. What did he get rid of? I don't even know. Who cares? He's really? got overrun. Overrun's really good. Nah, it's, re it's really bad because I don't have it. Draw a card for each tree. Oh, that's the one he got rid of, huh? It looks that way. Oh no, he got rid of Regal Force. If I was Austin though, what I would do is I would just take any th card that I want and I would put it out into play at any time with any <laughs> amount of land. But I'm not Austin, so I can't do that. I Black Knights and Magic are like the biggest bullshit ever. <laughs> blue is still the worst. <laughs> oh, it's my thing. turn. Fuck, I'm sorry. Yeah, blue is a pretty big piece of You should of hit me for nine right now, by the way. No, I'm gonna hit Rob for nine. Come on. Hit for nine? Don't hit Rob, what did he do to deserve I'm, this? I'm, I revealed your hand, Nick. Take only eight damage, so suck it. How about that? Yeah, now you only have eight. See that? Yeah. Oh, well, it's back to nine again. This is gonna be a five minute Magic episode. Oh, that very well maybe actually. Yeah, we could talk for twenty minutes at the end and link yeah, it up. Good, yeah. What do you want to talk about? Eggs? We already did egg, that. Eggs, 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 eggs. How about you suck an egg? Why eggs? Someone egg. said I was watching a streamer and they said uh, that uh, that thing sucks dog eggs. <laughs> Didn't know what that meant. <laughs> the and then balls. I was, the yeah, it's dog ball. It's dog bollocks. Yeah. So uh, dog bollocks. Uh, it was a Chappelle uh, show thing, I think, and he said his balls look like perfectly smooth eggs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nix, 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 nix. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Is that a netty joke? Is that a netty, anybody? No? Yeah, I watched that. No, look at you, I like that show. Awesome. The red guy was really annoying. I didn't like him. Uh, but I was kind of like the one that wore the hat. Mm -hmm. And I had a friend that was like the silly one. So I kind of, I saw myself in that little world a little bit just except for the red guy i didn't find him interesting who's who was the red guy the car salesman one the fast eddie guy i like the the this i think this was in a different show but the the devil that walked on his butt oh yeah that was uh, uh cow, and, cow chicken. and chicken yeah cow and chicken yes that was a good dude that was a good show was, except it kind had of its wasn't. moments yeah, it was kind of a bad show. You know, it was an excellent show. Was uh, Rocco's Modern Life? It really that was. was Rocco's modern really modern way ahead of its time in surrealness. Rocco's uh, it modern was modern jumping life. off of that whole Ren and Stimpy thing, but it actually managed to do it in a, a less. I don't know if I should say. I don't think rude is the right word to use. It was somewhat more intelligent in its sarcasm. I what guess. are we talking about? Rocco's Modern Life versus Ren and Stimpy. Oh yeah, I didn't really like Ren and Stimpy. It's too, uh, too no subtlety. Sophomoreish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is really quite sophomoreish, I'd have to say. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, there's no, uh, I don't know. Ren and Stimpy was just too, there's no, no subtlety to the humor. Yeah, agree. That made it kind of not good. What about Courage the Cowardly Dog? You ever watch that one? Oh, I love That's that show. Great yeah, show. Creep me the hell out a lot though. My friend used to uh, know the creator, and he was insane, nice. apparently. Oh, wow. I would not be surprised. Yeah, yeah. I just, uh, I can't get over how cool it is that Pendleton Ward knows Northern Lion on Twitter. <laughs> like, and that yeah. he watches Let's Plays that he makes. And I'm like, one person removed from that guy is so weird to me. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. Pendleton Ward, by the way, in case you guys Adventure didn't know, Time, yeah. is Venture Time creator. Um, so I guess, bye. <laughs> you guys. Um, you know, Are we already saying our goodbyes? We've only barely begun. Well, I mean, I am. I'm, I'm dead. Just begun. Copyright it's, claim. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> over. You, this video's done. It, it's been yeah. such a long time. I, I think the I video, should. Video, the whole channel's done. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Why stop at the video, really? Mm hmm. Yeah. It's pretty silly that he can have a 9 9 out on turn three and on no, turn. No, he deserves seven. it. Turn you seven, can... I have like almost nine damage output. You know how the force works, like, right? Because it's basically the same thing. Yeah, yeah, essentially. You just wave your hand in front uh, of our uh, eyes, and we don't know anymore. Oh. Well, there's your big, big thing. You Come take back the thing that Rob put in my graveyard. No, that was that was him oh, that put it in the graveyard, actually. Yeah. All right. 
That actually isn't that good. It's only a 5-5. Five five. Yeah, it's mostly about hurting my pride, I think. Yeah. It's like that scene in Pulp Fiction. You're like, this pride fucking with you. <laughs> it's like the same thing. Yeah. Can I block for Rob? Yeah, I no. wish. No, I can't. Darn. Well, it has trample, so let's just go ahead and take it. So well, I I'm... Might as well kill my creature and also take damage. No, I'll just take the damage. <laughs> what are you? What are you? Oh, that's not better. Oh, sorry. Eh. Kind of here nor there, really, at this point. Uh, what do you have over here? Anything good? Uh, if I see anyone being like, you know, you should have probably played this thing. And yeah, that no, that's, that's not right. <laughs> like, like, there is absolutely nothing that I could have done to stop my death here. I was even trying to stop stuff for you because this is just silly. Yeah. And I don't think I could have even done it either. Even the both of us together couldn't have made a difference here. Yeah, I don't I don't think so either. Fuck your bramble. hand. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you bramble, you crushed my bramble. I did. I certainly did. A bramble is like a bush, right? Yeah, basically a bush. But Sounds with like, like a pricker in it, like a you know, spiky bush. <laughs> Nick? Excuse me? Why did you kill your creature? I guess it doesn't really matter. No, because I'm about to lose anyway. Yeah, I guess that's fair. <laughs> well, bye, Nick. It was fun while it lasted. It wasn't very long that we had <laughs> that fun. <laughs> it wasn't really fun while it lasted, to be totally honest with you. I had fun. <laughs> Austin had fun. I had Austin had some fun. That's good. Fun. My um... business was finished. I finished my business, guys. I can play other decks now. Hooray! Well, okay, so if anything, we just gave you that one so you could go ahead and pick a new deck. Yeah, we actually gave you that We totally one. gave you that. Like, we decided beforehand, uh, me and Rob, uh, like, in yeah. a side you Skype conversation, we just decided we'll just, like, have that I one. It's the well, first time I've won in, like, ten episodes, actually. Really? I was playing that deck for a while, and I hadn't won before yeah. that deck, too. That was the decisive victory that I thought I was going to have on the last game, only you just had it. You just <laughs> had it. Yeah, the whole thing. absolutely nothing that we could do. I mean, if you have that one combo that costs, like, two mana to get a 9-9 creature out on turn three, then it's like, ah, well, you win this one, I guess. Dice rolls. Yeah, Exhume's a pretty silly card. I don't even know what was in my deck. I don't even know which deck that was. <laughs> this uh, is the, the original green deck. The original green. So did I have anything in there that could have helped me in that situation? Probably not. No. No, you both didn't have any really exile or kill cards. Just tend to lie around the blue and white decks. Well, I mean, I th there I had one thing, but it required it requires other, land. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. It requires land, as balance is concerned in Magic, where it requires <laughs> land for things. But sometimes Magic just like, oh, remember that balancing thing that we do, where it requires a lot of land to do something very powerful? Nah, nah. <laughs> let's just forget that rule. Well, I had like one thing as well, and then Austin decided actually I'll just use the force on you and just take it and put it out on my <laughs> side. And who the hell cares uh, about cards and whose deck, right? I'll just take uh, the ones I want. Man, this is like the fastest magic episode I think we've ever had. Yeah. I'm not I'll actually salty, by minutes. the way, viewers. I'm actually fine. Oh, yeah. This is just hilarious to me, that's all. Do you guys actually, since it was so sure, you guys want to just do another one right now? <laughs> that mess with some people. I don't know if they can handle that. They can't be handled too. We actually did that like way back in the day when we yeah, first. Yeah, when it was just you and me. Yeah, yeah, because the sometimes it would be like ten minutes long. It'd be like, eh, it's probably not good for a video. We could always just talk for another, you know, fifteen minutes as well. We could do that too. What, what do you want to talk about, bro? Oh, uh, well, boobs. Uh, Boob oh, and butts. butts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big fan of boobs, also butts. I like both of those things. I think they're very fun. Uh, fun to play with with your hands. And, uh, you know, your feet, too. Who do you think came up with the banana hammock as an idea? Ooh, I don't know, but I will tell you that in high school, we used to, um, we used to... <laughs> this is already buy, good. <laughs> we used to buy each other... Honestly, any story I tell from high school is hilarious because I I had a fun time in high school. But anyway, we used to buy each other joke gifts, um, and we would just buy each other joke banana hammocks all the time. And uh, by the way, in case you guys didn't know what a banana ca banana hammock was, <laughs> a banana hammock is a male g-string. So anyway, uh, the one that I got for my birthday was uh, was a tuxedo banana hammock, 
and it had the little bow tie on the front, <laughs> and then it even had coattails in the back oh, on terrific. the string. It was fantastic. It was an excellent. I don't know if that's better or worse than the elephant trunk, but they're both pretty up there. Ooh, that's a good one. That is a good one. We didn't have any of that though. Also, yeah, a banana hammock that is just a banana. That's a good. One. That would be good too. Yeah, I could see that. You got a banana hammock. Floppy dong. <laughs> in the is the is the main thing I think. Is it just put big floppy chub like dung. Is the right. thing that Borat wore in the movie was that would that qualify as a banana hammock or is that its own subclassification of banana hammock? Gosh, I don't I don't remember. That is a banana hammock plus. It was like the V shape thing that went over his shoulders and then around his crotch. Oh yeah. I don't think that's a banana. Kind of like a big like a different... old slingshot. Yeah. It's a sling dick. Sling sling balls. Sling nuts. Sling, sling scrotum. I wonder sling how sack. strong that thing is. You could probably sling launch sack. something. Out sack of it. sling. Well, it should be a sa sack sling. Sling sack sounds better, but you know. So if you're wearing a banana hammock and then you get an actual hammock, it's like a meta hammock. What what if you're wearing a banana hammock and you're in a hammock eating bananas? Oh my god, my brain just exploded. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> Or die. What? It's actually a banana in pajamas, but under his pajamas uh, is a banana hammock, and he's in a hammock, and he's committing cannibalism by eating other bananas. What if the hammock was in between two banana trees? What Holy if you're also smuggling plums at the same time? <laughs> Always smuggling plums. I can feel it. D down on my plum. <laughs> I, I can feel it. Down on my plums. I can feel it. Down on my plums. <laughs> <laughs> we all had to say it. Basically oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's like the best blooper reel of anything ever in the history of forever time. Special like, two plums for one. <laughs> <laughs> Getting ready for the farmer's market. <laughs> and the boy came in, and my wife said, Oh, oh, get him out of here. And I said, No. Let the boy watch. <laughs> <laughs> There were so many W's and H's at the beginning of that word. I know, this is oh, watch, watch. Watch. Let the boy watch. I don't think you're going to say hatch, and then you don't. I, I know, exactly, but then I don't do it, because that's how much of a man I am. I don't say my H's. Actually, you know what's funny in other Britishism, since I talked about the Britishism in the last episode? Uh, did you guys notice that British people pronounce H as H? You guys ever notice that? Maybe. Yeah, I, I realized that watching Yogg's cast a long time ago whenever they would say HP. Yeah, yeah. HP, HP Lovecraft. HP Love. That's, what, that's how they would say it. They say HP. HP Lovecraft. How do you do case, Doctor Who then? Is it like Doctor Who? I, I don't know how to do Doctor H2. H2. <laughs> Doctor fucking O. H2, hey. Doctor. <laughs> Watch Doctor H2. Oh my god, I saw John Stewart when he did that. <laughs> what, what, make it he always back. does that generic city voice. I know. I Sounds like doing like it too. It's fun. Yeah, it's a good. It's a good voice to go back to. Do you know a lot of people that do the generic city voice? Like in real life? Yeah. I do. You do? Oh. No. Uh, no. Well, some of my family, yeah, because but that's because I also your mother does it. I've heard your mother yeah. talk. She does, it. she does a bit. Yeah, but I mean that's kind of just how she speaks. Yeah. She's. I mean, it, I have an Italian thing, and that's also, like, that's the typical Italian New Yorker. Yeah, I understand. And so it's sort of... I actually, you know, I kind of do by accident sometimes, um, which is odd for me. I'm not sure I've ever heard that. Well, it, it's only when I get angry. Oh, okay. When I get angry, then... If you then don't want to so hear me angry, I turn into a city <laughs> version. <laughs> <laughs> turn into a typical Italian Brooklyn yeah. New Yorker. No, I mean, I know how it is. I was originally from Long Island, and Long Island has the whole Long Island thing, so, I mean, yeah, yeah I know. It's just, it's not everybody's like that, but you catch little pockets every now and then. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes even just your mannerisms are just kind of like, ooh, that's ugly. Do people around the country know about, like, the city thing and the Long Island thing, or is that just, oh, like, not, around no, here? I highly doubt it. I would, I would highly doubt it. I mean... Considering the pers like that the fact that you know people from New York City don't even understand what upstate New York is like, right? Like seriously, I I don't know how I can stress how much more I can stress that I that is that is like Star Trek the undiscovered country up there for me. Like I have no right, upstate idea. Upstate to them is like what the Bronx or something, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, like like the actually even the Bronx is confusing because it it's the Bronx, right? And then it becomes. 
Riverdale, which is the really snack. So it's like really harsh, hardcore ghetto, like really right. intense South Bronx and like upper like Dykeman projects and stuff in the upper uh, Upper East Side. And then and like the Bronx is like really fucked up and no one goes to that borough because it's terrifying. And then like even Yankee Stadium scary and people with knives hanging around outside and dice and like, you know, they, they're, they're cats in suits snapping and walking towards yeah, you. Yeah, snick snack and, with the butterfly yeah, knives i know exactly. it's like west side story basically it's, it's terrifying <laughs> and then you go like you know five ten blocks a little bit farther out of the ghetto nicest part of new york city yeah. like a million plus like 15 million dollar homes well, like <laughs> riverdale you know, and you know the botanical just... gardens right like those are in the bronx but like how far in are they do you know i actually have no i don't think i've ever well i've probably been to the botanical gardens once when i was a small child uh, and then i think we were robbed so we never oh, went wow. back no, I'm that's, kidding, obviously. No. But, yeah, but I mean, I have been robbed multiple times before. But I mean, that's probably oh, you're me. robbed every day, all day. <laughs> exactly, that's true. I'm robbed all the time. But yeah, no. But being mugged, that's kind of a part of living in New York City. It's not really that big of a deal either. Dumb. A lot of people think. A lot of people like like are, are like, "Whoa, you've been mugged." Well, that's, whenever I tell people, are that, we gonna like, have this conversation again? We've had yeah, this. Well, it, have we done that in the magic? Yeah, episode? and I just, I really don't believe you should think that it's normal to be mugged. It's totally normal. Like it's a thing. It happens. It's not dangerous most of the time. Cause it's usually, usually it's just kids, or it's like you know, just some fucking asshole who just wants five bucks. Is like, all right, fine. You, you could just hold a cup out, and I'd probably still give you the five bucks, bro. But all right, if you want to hold a knife on me, sure. Here's five dollars. Enjoy. I just don't think that's acceptable in this day and age that people <laughs> are threatening each other with violence for money. I just think that's a bad idea, and you shouldn't think that that's normal. Well, I suppose that depending upon the place that you get mugged in really changes the context of the mugging, really. I mean, if you get mugged in the South Bronx or, like, Dalton Dykeman Projects, then you're probably in serious, consider like, considerable danger for your life and stuff. Not necessarily your life, but at least your well-being. Right. Because they regularly beat and up. And if old... you don't live in the city, you don't know the difference between those. So I think you would imagine you're probably in the worst one all the time, and that's what I would. Yeah, uh, that's tr yeah, that's true. So... I don't know. They're they're also they're nice muggers too. I've been mugged by nice muggers. Um... Wouldn't a nice mugger be someone who doesn't mug you? <laughs> well, then he wouldn't be a mugger. That's the mugger's Right, paradigm. how do they get that classification? I think that's sort of those two things are at odds with each other. Yeah, so they, they go, "Give me all your money, please." Yeah. yeah. It made it sound like Canadian <laughs> mugging. Yeah, it's Canadian mugging. Actually, that's a, I think that's a Whitest Kids You Know skit, is the it's Canadian really... mugging. Yeah. Like, oh, well, I'm so... sorry. Could I just have all your money there, buddy? Being <laughs> from the South, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> Frank, do you think yeah. it's normal to be mugged? No. And do you think you should accept that? Absolutely not. All right. Well, I mean, there's what else are you going to do about it? Well, I mean, well, yeah, but I don't know. That's I, sort of, I, think I that's guess it's one of those adapt or don't things, so I hear you on Yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just sort of like, well, that's just the thing that you're going to have to deal with, so you should yeah. probably not freak out every time it happens, because it's probably just something that you're going to have to encounter at, at multiple well, points in your life if you live in New York City, is that's yeah. just something that it will probably happen to you, and it's not scary, don't be afraid, just because some asshole pulls a knife on you doesn't mean he wants to stab you, because he totally doesn't. Because nobody wants to go to jail for the rest of their life for the 20 bucks you have in your back pocket. So, really, I, I, oftentimes I get, like, if I, if I ever get mugged, it's, it's usually I'm in negotiating mode where it's like, well, I, you know, I, I kind of, I, I need some money to get on the train, bros, but I could give you this. Obviously, you don't do that, by the way. <laughs> Just a general rule, don't do that. My friend tried to do that where he, like, pulled out a money clip of, like, $60. And like, well, I'll give you these twists 20 and they just took all this money. It's like, why would you do that? I just pulled out the money that I had in my back pocket because I didn't keep, I kept the extra money in my wallet and be like, oh, yeah, here's fucking 10 bucks. That's all I got. Sorry. See ya. I don't know. But you don't know if the dude's unstable? You don't know what his deal is. I mean, if a guy's, like, shivering and on crack or something, then obviously <laughs> don't negotiate with the man. I mean, it's really case-to-case -case basis. But if it's a bunch of kids who come around and they just, like, pull a knife out, it's like, they're not going to fucking stab you because they don't want... Nobody wants to stab anybody. You know what? Despite being hard or being a badass or whatever, nobody wants to stab anybody else. Especially if you do, if you have a knife because nobody wants to get in a knife fight because nobody wins in a knife fight. Nobody wins. I'm it's positive like the, that there are people out there in the world that want to stab people, yes. Well, yeah, but they probably won't ask you for your money first if they really wanted to stab you, mm -hmm. in all likelihood. But there are other mitigating factors that we're not considering here. There's the whole gang violence thing, and there's, like, the whole peer pressure thing, 
Uh, yeah, true. But I will say in New York City, for the most part, unless you're in like East New York or again like Dykeman Projects or something, some bad place like that, you really aren't gonna have gangs be a considerable factor. Honestly, organized crime for the most part doesn't exist in New York City anymore. I mean, there is the place near my house, the junkyard that's owned by the mafia. Um, but you know, again, it like doesn't really matter. They're mostly a legitimate business now. The mafia, They've, it's sort of like what happens in Godfather Three, where you know he <laughs> he's just clean. like, yeah, he went to go clean. You know, after some time, you make more money that way anyway. So uh, yeah, is the there's the organized crime doesn't really super exist anymore. There are stupid kids though who who like you know will listen to some guy be like yeah you got to go beat the shit out of that guy right. and you'll get beat up sometimes too that happens my friend actually uh, got fucked up real bad in in the park one time because a bunch of kids jumped him for some reason it's being kids basically yeah I still think that's bullshit I don't think you should have to live in fear of that kind of thing well he didn't really live in fear they beat the shit out of a lot oh. of them. I, well, I've visited the city a bunch of times, and thankfully I haven't had ever had anything like that happen to me, but I don't like knowing that if I go there that that's a thing I have to really consider that could happen. Because it's right now I'm in basically no threat of that happening where I am. <laughs> right, right. Well, but you are in threat of, like, a serial killer breaking into your Absolutely. house. Absolutely, as yeah. we all are. Well, yeah. But less so, I think, in New York City, probably. Maybe. If only by virtue of the amount of numbers of people that are there. Right, yeah, yeah. I'd much rather have the chance of being mugged and someone take the amount of pocket money that I have on me rather than having my skin peeled off and worn as a suit. <laughs> so, <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a slippery slope argument in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. But still. You know. And then there's those things, like, everywhere you go, you pretty much have somebody trying to, like, sell you something that you don't want or, like, put something in your hand and then get money for it. Like, yeah. just crossing the street, somebody's giving you their rap album, and I'm like, okay, I don't really want to engage with that. And then you got to develop that whole other persona where you ignore all people and become sort of like a lifeless shell when you're walking around, and that's really strange, too. You also have to have no, uh, you know, no no visible emotion on your face when you yeah. walk around New York City as well. That's part of it. Yeah, people uh, just talk to you for some reason, like, with yeah, nothing if you to smile, say. That's, you can't smile in New York City, because if you smile in New York City, then somebody's going to come up and try to talk to you about something, so you, you don't really do that. Um, it's part of, you have to look like you would beat someone up if they talk to you. That's well, it the depends general... where you are, too. Yeah, it does. But I, mean, I mean, I was usually around up, touristy up. places, like, you know, art galleries and shit, where it's not like you're really in that huge danger. No, you never, yeah. Honestly, you, most of New York, you're not in a huge danger most of the time. Like, New York's not as scary as it once was, like, in the 80s and stuff. But the fact that you've brought up that this is, like, a real thing that people that live in the city have to deal with, you know, getting mugged on a regular basis, that is a thing that people who don't get mugged uh, on a regular basis would consider <laughs> an impediment. But perhaps I've been exaggeratory. I don't think that's a word, but I've just made it up. Um... <laughs> But it sounds cool, doesn't it? Say, just say it right now. Exaggeratory? It could be a real thing. It sounds good, right? Anyway, um, so, yeah, the, um, uh, but, but uh, it's not like a regular thing that you've gotten mugged. I mean, like, of all my time living in New York City, which is, you know, 22 years now, yeah. I've been mugged, like, three times, four times. So it's not, like, super common, but it is something that happens. And then again, you also have to consider that it's probably more common in a person who's 22 years old because people are more likely to mug a small, uh, like a younger, weaker person, you know, as, as opposed to someone who's older and looks like they maybe knew, know how to handle themselves and potentially fight back if something happens. You know, you really go for the weakest common de denominator. That's why old people always get robbed and beat up and stuff for their money is because it's easy. Wow. Just uh, throwing that out there. Exaggeratory, <laughs> totally a word. Is it a word? Yeah. Huh. Involving Did you look it up? exaggeration. Yeah. It's you can either say exaggerative or exaggeratory. Huh. Exaggeratory sounds way cooler. It does. Yeah, it's not a bad the, word. The English language is one of those languages or I guess it's, I, I can't really speak to any sort of <laughs> one you know, of those the, languages. What, I know more. What I mean, but I'm just saying English is nice because you can not know a word and just, you know, have the general rules and just be like, yeah, fuck it, exaggeratory, probably a word. Makes sense with other words. And if you're insistent enough, you can just create your own words and eventually they get added to the dictionary anyway. Yeah, yeah. like, uh, like Shakespeare. Yeah, or that. 
Shakespeare. Or, the you know, if, you're, if you're adamant enough about it, you can totally change the definitions of words. Uh, mm -hmm. what, what's what's the one? Uh, literally. Literally. <laughs> means figuratively. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Literally Ooh. means literally figuratively, which is figuratively literally. <sighs> now. Nah, like you, know, you know what's funny, too, actually, now that you mention changing the meanings of words? Uh, we seem to exaggerate a lot of those exaggeratory words, like uh, like fantastic. Say, you know, fantastic. I don't know if you guys know this, but fantastic actually means having or dealing with fantasy, right? Yeah. Like, so like dragons or you know knights in shining armor and stuff like that. Cool. That's what it's supposed to mean. But you say fantastic if something's good. The other thing that's actually really interesting. Do you know decimate? Do you know that that so like say you're saying I, I talked about this recently in an Isaac video. Um, when you say decimate. And you say, like, say, uh, oh, yeah, this disease decimated a population. You think, oh, it killed most of the population, right? That's what you hear in your head. But that's not actually like true. Of a decimal it, place? Is that yeah, no, it, it actually means that you've killed about one-tenth of the population. Yeah. It's a decimate, because that's what deci means. In fact, you could say it octimated them. It killed 80% ah. of the population, which would make more sense if you were trying to be... Yep. If you were trying to, you know, use hyperbole to explain but your point. Then you but get into colloquial decimate. language, and then we remember that all words mean whatever we decide they mean at any given moment. And Pretty much, That's yeah. what that means. <laughs> yep. Yeah, decimate just means fuck things up real bad. Badass way to say that. beat the shit out of something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and really, the word actually means kind of bad. Like, it kind of fucked it up a little bit. Yeah, I would say one tenth of something is not enough to say that you know it's it's totally messed up. Sure. Yeah. You guys, you guys want to hear the story of me not knowing a word and embarrassing myself in front of uh, people? Depends if you want to yeah. tell that story. Yeah. I, uh, uh, the word in question is raise, not R I A S E, but R A Z E. Never right. heard raise before at the time, and uh, we, one of my friends had written a story and he was reading it to us. It was like uh, just a joke story. Uh, and the word raise was used. He says something along the lines of he raised the city to the ground. And I was really confused. So out loud to them, I said, how would you raise something up to the ground? Um, yeah, that was not a good idea because they couldn't stop laughing. Uh, well, obviously, you didn't play enough RTS games as a child because clearly not. They're Often when you play an RTS game and you look at the stats after the game, it'll show buildings raised. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's what it said in StarCraft anyway. I played a lot of StarCraft when I was a kid. Hey, Austin, who's listening to that magic episode? Is that you? <laughs> no, uh, it probably is not. Yeah. It's not you. All it's right. not. Oh, it's it was me. It was me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had it playing the whole time. <laughs> uh, it's funny if you actually were listening to it. Well, technically we are. It's just we're it like on a so. feedback loop through my own head. That's yeah. meta, man. That's like next level. It's like the streamception thing, only with uh, audio. Oh, then everybody disliked the video. <laughs> you can't say the Inception joke anymore. People get mad. People have a real love-hate relationship with streamception. They're so excited by it for a second, and then they get angry. Yeah. Mm. I don't really understand the second part. Hmm. Yeah. It's, it's it's probably the multiple layers of or levels of grief or whatever. Oh, the five stages of grief. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, denial, de de destruction, uh, decimation. Decimation. <laughs> dildos. <laughs> dildos, and then creamy dildos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dildos, those are, those are good ones. Five states of green. <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure there were like six, too, is the other. <laughs> yeah, I think it's thing. five. Was it five? I, thought it was, I played a game that said it was five, so I'm going to believe that it was that. Oh, okay. No, 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 I meant I meant the ones that we gave. The joke oh, and, what we just said. Like probably like six of them. <laughs> well, so, I mean, we'll, if Creamy we'll Dildos is okay. number six, I don't really want to be wrong. They, they, they were the five or six stages too. Uh, yeah, the yeah, five or six on the stages. <laughs> oh, you know that old scientific stand by the five or six stages of grief. You know, depending on who you are, the dildos and the creamy dildos. Dildo baggins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dildo, dildo Gaggins actually. Is yeah, you're right. <laughs> the next gags one. on the dildo. Uh, yeah, people were watching the Desolation of Smog. I haven't seen that yet. I want it's to. It's Smog. Oh right, it's Smog. 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 You guys, you guys don't watch Sh Sherlock, do you? Sharlock. Sharlock. Sh I do not no. watch Sharlock, but that is my favorite show Sherlock. about Sharlock. Flintlock. It's a Lock. show about like, where, they, where they take lockers out of sharks' bellies and they open them up and see what's inside. But the producers oh, actually. Put, 
stuff inside beforehand so that it's something interesting like to do. One of those TLC yeah. shows. Yeah, exactly. And Too then they value bucks. the price of it inside. I can probably give you about 30 bucks for that. <laughs> I love when they find, like, an old Nintendo system in one of those lockers and they're like, man, I remember hearing about that when I was younger. It must be worth $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, my, my parents loved watching Pawn Stars. They loved it. Yeah, yeah I don't and know which I, one I liked more. I liked all of them a little bit. I, I, I always that. assumed that the because show had the sense. Bullshit. It is, no, but no, it's no, no, hilarious. See, I'm, I'm gonna I'll tell a story. I always thought the shows had some validation to them, like they weren't horribly fake, because they seemed <laughs> legitimate. They did seem pretty legitimate. There was nothing that was like, wow, there's no way that person would sell that or that. Was Pawn be. Stars the one in in Chicago? No, Las Vegas. Oh, which one am I thinking of then? There's one where they were like in Detroit or something. Probably that one might where they be like the storage lockers or something. Or, no, it was a pawn shop store thing. Oh, uh, there's like well, there's one that's like Super Pawn or Crazy Pawn or some. Uh, yeah, I'll probably think uh, of that. But ways. anyway, the when I found out that Pawn Stars was total bullshit was when Pat the NES nerd was on it, selling his gold uh, World Champions cart, and oh. I was like, that fucker spent his whole life looking for that fucking cart. There's no way he'd be selling it, and mm. that cart is worth like thirty thousand dollars. And he spent so long looking for it. It was uh, the whole uh, Angry Video Game Nerd did a whole video about it, yeah. too. And it was like the dude lowball lowballed him an offer of like, uh, and it was the Chum, Chum Lee guy, the guy who doesn't really even oh, deal with terrific. that. Lowballed him at like 20 or like, I think it was like 15 or 18,000. I was like, first off, that guy's not supposed to be like doing those deals anyway, apparently from other episodes. And this is a very, very valuable the second most rare nes game ever and worth tens of thousands of dollars you yeah. think they'd take this one more I'm, seriously i'm surprised they would even do that for that show considering most of the population watching it would have no idea what it is and be like why is this stupid fucking game worth that much money right i, I don't know it see those all those reality shows seem pretty clear to me i like my, my mom actually gets mad at me because she watches all those reality shows and i Whenever I see her watching one, I, I you know, yell at her about how bad it is. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, she, she gets mad at me because I. she actually thought, you know that one show, uh, A Thousand Ways to Die? She thought that was real. Thought that that, was, that had real... Yeah, she thought, <laughs> thought that was, like, based on Isn't true that stories. that on, like, Spike TV? Yeah! And it's like, it's like, one, you don't ever learn the names of the people involved. So that should be the first telling bit. And then the second telling bit is like when a meteor comes crashing down from the sky and impales a man in the heart. That never fucking happened. Of course that never happened. <laughs> and but but anyway, so like with the Pawn Stars and stuff, like with, with like Pawn Stars and stuff like that, I, I always find it funny because reality TV now is basically remember all that old shit that your grandma used to watch? That's all just that shit. They're just repackaging My stories. it. A Pawn Stars is straight up Antiques Roadshow. That's all it is. It's Antiques Roadshow. It's what your grandma like used show. to watch. Yeah, Antiques I know, Roadshow I like is show. still going on. There was a Reddit I know post it is, about but that's some guy who... are still alive. The, but, there was a Reddit post about some guy who had mil a million dollars worth of... Uh, was it Rhino Horn... Uh, what are they? Um, cups? You totally can't of, like, sell Rhino that Horn. shit at all. Like it's all yeah. oh, no, illegal. He, no, he he. It was legal for him apparently because they were made before like. Oh, 1900s. oh he got a, a, a ricin. Uh, a a ricin. A license for it. <laughs> he got some ricin. Got some ricin. <laughs> well, apparently, <laughs> if the if the cups were made before they were illegal to make, then the cups are totally yeah, yeah, illegal. Yeah, I got you. And so. and and re the rest of this reality TV, like whatever the Real Housewives of Buttland and like the. Oh like, God, that Jersey that show Street. is physically painful to watch yeah it's really but you know what it is too. you know what that is that's so your grandma used to watch you know your grandma used to watch she used to watch days of our lives she used to watch yeah, uh our still, our lives is still on by uh, the way My i know like yeah, the, the uh, just like the antiques road show the old people are still alive and they still watch it um but what but the reality tv show is for 20 year olds and it's just soap operas it's the same thing it's a poorly written show with exaggerated characters that don't really exist and can never yeah. exist. Can you explain to me how moonshiners exist, by the way? Yeah, I don't understand that. <laughs> it is moon completely shines. illegal to make moonshine, yet there's a show about people making moonshine. Oh, that's probably because they're not actually fucking making moonshine. <laughs> like, that's, that's, that's probably It's like why. a lot of work to make all of that shit happen to not actually make the moonshine. Yeah, I mean, you're watching, right? So you probably make way no, more I'm money. No, I'm really not watching, but I just think it's show. weird. Yeah. Yep. You know what's scary, just frighteningly popular where I live now? 
Duck Dynasty. It's all over, man. What they is got Duck, duck Dynasty? Tape. Apparently, a bunch of like really podunk Southern dudes made millions of dollars selling duck calls and created a business, right. and they're and still crazy Southern dudes. It's so it's all must about be their personalities, I guess, at this point. Yeah. So like a top yeah, suit thing. There's they're they're just there's Duck Dynasty merchandise everywhere in this area. It's scary. It's really scary. Mm. Yeah, they got good merchandising deals. I mean, they have like tape yeah, like, with the names on them. It's, it's really strange. Yeah. Uh, what kind of market is there for duck calls? It, they don't sell duck calls though, really. I mean, unless they do, but I mean, that's not where they're getting no, most they of their did. money. That's how they made their no, millions of dollars. I mean, in the merchandising deal that they have is for all other things too. Yeah, yeah, shirts and hunting stuff and. I remember like uh, Meerkat Manor. That's what I thought right. Duck Dynasty was. Was I like thought a story it was about like, ducks. Yeah, I thought it was just they would just follow a family of ducks being ducks. Wow, I that guess. would have been such a better idea. I would have watched I that. I thought that that's what that was. Duck, uh, duck Dynasty. It Except sounds like ducks it. Ducks are awfully horrible creatures. They that are, tend actually. That's true. Rape they rape their all the time. Mates. All the yeah. Time. <laughs> and their vaginas are like a maze. Yeah, yeah. yeah which is a reason are... not to like them for some reason. I'm not sure yeah, why. well, their vaginas are springs and the penises are springs. And you know how it works is, like, the springs have to interlock, and that's their anti-rape mechanism. Like it's a maze, like... though. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, it's like it's like, it's a spring, and it's like a circular or, like, a spirally dick and a spirally duck vagina. Yeah. And when they when they touch, if the, if the male duck's trying to rape the female duck, if the female duck thinks, the, or, like, the female duck is actually not a genetic match... For the duck, then uh, then they won't lock in properly, and if they don't, they can't have duck rape sex. So they don't. They don't that lock is in science. properly. That's how duck rape happens. I know. Wow. I should be a teacher. <laughs> I just imagine you showing like taking apart a doorknob, and being like, "So <laughs> the tuck lock won't occur if this orientation." <laughs> yeah, really uh, strange mechanics yeah. to the world. Yeah, duck rape. Anyway, it is a really long outro to a magic video. Yeah, yeah. people are going to be real confused thinking this is, wow, another long magic episode. Must have been a doozy. <laughs> yeah, we easily could have talked for another hour about reality TV. Probably, yeah. Yeah, fairly easy. But uh, anyway, we should probably, probably cut it because it's probably already pretty long for a magic episode in general, really. Yeah. Man. So, Man yeah. a duck call? Man, man's a duck call, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I much prefer goose calls because they right. sound hilarious. Right. That was a little more donkey, sorry. Fucking right. geese. Geese are assholes. They used to try to punch geese because they're assholes. <laughs> They'll bite your dick off, man. Don't get too I know. <laughs> so you gotta punch them in the mouth so that they know. <laughs> they don't learn. Us. They just get more angry. I know. You gotta punch them harder in the mouth, Nick. Then Let's their go. head will come back and swing you and bite your dick off on the way back over. It's, don't do it's, it. Kids, don't punch them. It's not worth don't it. Don't punch geese. The Message. more you know. Do, if you do, learned anything from this oh, match series, don't punch geese. Anyway. Don't even hang out where they live. It's bad. Outro. My, okay. my school used to be next to a goose park. Don't go to school then. Yeah, just stay away from that just school. stay away. <laughs> geese. Don't, don't do go it. there. Transfer schools. Okay, there was this one girl I knew who... Um, uh, sorry, there was another part to the story that I, I had to reason in my head whether or not I should say it on camera, and I totally won't. Um, so, but anyway, uh, she, birds hated her. Her whole life, birds just didn't like her. I don't know why, but they never did, and I swear, I saw, I saw it firsthand. She told me about it, but, like, when she was a child, like, she went to the chicken, uh, like, a petting zoo or whatever, and the chickens, chickens attacked her, and she would be there was geese they would just beat the shit out of her and stuff and like pigeons would fly at her and stuff i don't know p c birds fucking hated this girl i know why why she had the spirit of the condor really no no she knew this one easy trick to fly birds hate her it's oh mm. they don't want you to know yeah they, they don't want you to know the secret either of those re references you don't know the doctors hate them reference also mine wasn't a reference it was just a silly way to say a thing <laughs> I do that sometimes. I really thought it was a reference, Nick. <laughs> I figured, you know, predator bird. Maybe they don't want to like get involved with the predator bird, so they want to kill it before it kills them. 
That's very... I, I, I could see a really good image with, like, the fade out with Nick and, like, you know, I saw those tweets, of, like, you were in the space and something about dicks. It was hilarious, but just that, but Spirit of the Condor and, like, it faded out picture of the Condor. Yeah, yeah, just Nick <laughs> yeah. things. It's weird. It's a weird world. Mm-hmm. So you guys anyway. want to talk for, like, another two hours, or you want to just... Like, <laughs> I don't know. I video? gotta like, record some shit. Yeah, we should, like, record some other stuff, too, because... <laughs> yeah. This is just yeah. going to be one video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you guys should, like, tell us that you like the series still, because, I don't know, we've all had varying uh, degrees of success with this series at this point, and we've been brainstorming and discussing possible avenues of where to take this, if anywhere... So uh, if you're still enjoying things, please be sure to let us know. We value it very much, and the fact that you made it through all of this is also pretty astounding. So you deserve right. as big a thumbs up as, as you could give us. And yeah, it goes if you both made it ways. to the end of the video, type uh, type blunderbutts in the in blunder the butts. Butts. Yeah. As if yeah, it was so. blunderbuss, but replace the bus with bus. <laughs> exactly. See, that's why. See, people, people like, maybe they'll see one guy say blunderbutts, and they'll be like, oh, okay, that's probably just... Some, some thing but I now you know we're not going to get any actual meaningful criticism. It's just going to be people writing blunderbuss. <laughs> okay, blunder at the yeah. beginning of your meaningful comment, or at go. the end, post blunderbuss. Uh -huh. Blunderbuss, right? Yeah, obviously. beginning or end. Well, I mean, we don't know if people like people. Maybe we'll just hear no feedback and not know if anybody ever got to the end. You know, and be like, yeah, oh. that would be another easy way oh. to tell. <laughs> You're right. I didn't think about yeah. that. All right. Well, we'll see that, how it goes. Yeah. So feedback, board games, podcast boobies uh oh Thanks you said like the that. p word everybody hey, run the boobies are an option now we <laughs> boobies are definitely... that wasn't on the table before oh it was yeah we i don't know i remember i remember talking about just changing our channels to a Pornhub uh account instead oh yeah we were talking about if we could just get into porn that would be way easier oh actually i was making a joke I, but yes that was something that we did legitimately <laughs> talk about so <laughs> that's the thing yeah i forgot we about were that. joking by the way in case you needed <laughs> uh, us to no we weren't. we weren't really though Anyways, see you guys later. Thanks for watching Magic. Bye. 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 Bye.